clicking and selecting objects which are on top of each other might be sometimes difficult in PowerPoint. Here I want to show you three ways how I usually handle this problem. So how do we select the object behind it? The best way to do this is to open Home, Select and opening the Selection pane. The Selection pane here on the right side gives us two options. Either we click on the item in front of us and we just make it invisible by using this eye and right now we have full control over this object behind it because we can select it right away. Additionally, we learned that this is shape 8418. So we need to remember that if you want to select it again later. Once we have done the editing with this object, we can make this rectangle to again visible and we would be ready to go forward. If you do not want to deselect anything, we have learned now how this object is named, so we do not need to search how to click it. We can simply go to the selection pane, we can navigate bottom to the shape 8418 and we have instantly this one selected. I can move this now with my arrow keys or any way I want. It would be far more convenient if we had this named object on top this reddish one. Now I would definitely know that this is that one. Okay, other ways to select elements, but that's a bit tricky and I'm just showing you what you can do. If you, for example, have trouble selecting this text or this text or this object, you can select all of them by clicking and dragging over them, then pressing your shift key and deselecting what's unnecessary. This way, I know that's like not the perfect solution, but in some cases in PowerPoint, this is the way to go and I very often use this. I just select everything and with my shift click, I either add items or deselect items on the fly. So this is one way of doing this. See, this is a group, but if this would be ungrouped, I could select all of them. And for example, I do not want to select the icon. I only want the background and the text this way. I have selected both of them effortlessly without having to think if I've selected it properly or not. Just drag a big rectangle around this and with shift click deselect something that is in your way. This is how I usually go around with those selecting problems in PowerPoint. I have very much questions about it so I've decided to record a very simple guidance video how to use the selection pane and how to use our shift key and selecting like that. Thank you very much for listening to this tutorial. I hope this will be helpful and see you in other ones like this.